South Korea considers sending military observers to Ukraine due to North Korea's involvement in the war. Reuters reports, a representative of the South Korean president stated that Seoul is considering sending a group of military observers to Ukraine to monitor and analyze the deployment of North Korean troops by Russia at the front lines. According to the official, at least 11,000 North Korean soldiers have been dispatched to Russia, with over 3,000 of them moved closer to the front lines. The South Korean presidential office explained that Pyongyang could gain valuable experience for its forces involved in the war on Russia's side, which poses a direct military threat to South Korea. So it is incumbent upon us to analyze and monitor the activities of North Korean troops against our ally. The official noted, Russia is deploying North Korean troops in the war against Ukraine. According to Ukrainian intelligence, North Korea has transferred 12,000 soldiers to Russia, with some already sent to the Kursk region. The Financial Times, citing Ukrainian intelligence, reported that about 3,000 North Korean soldiers have been deployed to the Kursk region, located just 50 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Ukrainian military officials have expressed doubts about the combat readiness of North Korean forces, noting that they have never participated in modern warfare. North Korean soldiers may be being readied for a move to the front lines of Russia's war against Ukraine after being taught basic Russian commands, South Korean lawmakers told reporters citing the country's intelligence officials. South Korea's National Intelligence Service is now watching for the possibility of some North Korean personnel, including high-ranking military officials, moving to the front lines, said lawmakers Lee Seong kun and Park Sun-won, who were briefed by the NIS during a closed-door meeting of a parliamentary intelligence committee. Russia is teaching North Korean soldiers about 100 basic military words like fire and in position, the lawmaker said. However, they added it's clear that North Korean soldiers are struggling to communicate and it's not clear whether they'll be able to bridge the language gap. North Korea has also stepped up its security measures, both to protect its dictator Kim Jong-un and to prevent news of the North Korean deployments to Russia from spreading within the highly isolated, impoverished country. To this end, North Korean officers involved in the Russian effort are banned from using phones, while families of soldiers are told that their loved ones are simply participating in a military exercise, the lawmaker said. The Shenzhou-19 astronauts have successfully docked with the Shenzhou-18 crew aboard China's space station following their launch on Wednesday. Together, the two teams will undertake scientific experiments, focusing on the construction of human habitats. Among the Shenzhou-19 trio, Song Lingdong stands out as the youngest member. In 2018, Song, then a Su-35 pilot, discussed his experiences and insights in an exclusive interview with the Shanghai Media Group, highlighting the advanced capabilities of the Su-35 fighter jet. Song was admitted in 2007 to Air Force Aviation University and graduated at the top of his class. He then became his brigade's first post-90s third-generation fighter pilot. Song's brigade, equipped with these jets, has participated in South China Sea patrols in 2018 and other high-profile operations. By September 2020, Song officially joined China's third astronaut team. Dubbed the Southern Sword, the Su-35, a fourth-generation Russian-origin fighter jet with multi-role and twin engine, holds a special place in China's aviation mission. I 
。第三呢，它的整个作战性能也是比两栖有了很大的提高。